he would come here and like he didn't even worry like he like if the guy if you fall in or whatever you end up here you just he like he was even all the way like this like, this is safe like the guy cannot really punch me in the face or anything here so that was fine so i'm here and then i'm gonna eventually come back and i came back double the pelt grab right here like this or jiu-jitsu if we're talking about a fight he comes back he goes right here okay so now in a fight if eric tries to touch my face i stay here nothing okay i'm controlling him but me on the other hand i can touch him right so he said there's times to use a fist and there's times to use an open hand this is a good time to use an open hand so i can smack him here and he say cup the hand smack the ear to the ear. Pushes all the air in, busts the eardrum, mess up his equilibrium or whatever he gets. But well, you can do like two or three of those pretty quick, really hard, and get back to protecting and mess the guy up pretty good. Also from here, you could boom headbutt. Take the top of your head, right in the nose, knock in the teeth, right in the eye bone, you know. Um, so those are really hard shots to get. Pretty simple. Just shoot your head forward. The other thing is, if he tries to bring both arms together and bring my arms together like this, then he could go up both arms or both legs over my shoulder, across your feet, behind my head, and hip up. You can do it like a double arm up there. So you have to watch that. So what happens is when I'm here, he brings both together like this. He goes to clamp down. I slide this one out. He locks that down. I come over the top here with the elbow. So I'm here, control. He goes to lock him down. Boom. Slide this one free. Boom. He said if he locks this tight, or he wants to keep that arm, I pull. I try to pull him into the elbow. So he's clamped super tight. Boom. He hit the elbow. So now to the guard with just the jujitsu. He's here. Go double grab, together right here. Pressure down on him, elbows together right here. Step this foot up. So my knee and elbow are trying to come close here. So now, what can Eric do from here? We need to try to grab, we need to try to attack. tries to grab the gi and then maybe go for like a sweep. So for Eric to go for a sweep, he has to open one of the legs. When he opens one of the legs right here, I take the, the elbow and push down and step over. I'm still tight here. Once I step here, he hugged. Over the head with the elbow, step here, and connected the heel down, grab down the back, right here, to the pad. So now if Eric wants to reach this way, my leg out the base right here. So I'm good, strong, just trying to bridge in. So the heel is pulling here, and this flips back to the base. Okay? So as he bridges, here, reach around the neck. And then when I'm ready, reach through. You're still coming in. Reach through here. As you come in, you bridge up, bridge up into the guillotine. Whew. So you're like baiting him into the guillotine. Start doing this, so but here, over here, stay tight, me and elbow together. Here, so what I'm doing is locking down this side. This for him to start to play a guard, he's grabbing something, he's gonna open this foot. When he opens this foot, is when this elbow pushes 
and the knee comes over. When the knee comes over, I'm going to go to this side, and this heel is going to actually drive down to the ground here. On my reach, straighten this through here. This has to be back for base so it doesn't push into me this way. This is a little hook to help pull here so you can't bridge up off that hook. Good to Yeah. 